says the x-axis. So now, obviously, um, when we have the center negative 6 to the 5 tangent to the x-axis, again, we know that the standard form is circle. So we know that we have our center is still going to be x um, plus 6 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals our r squared. But now we do have our problem with our r squared. So now what we need to do is determine where exactly our point is. So it's at, since it's over negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that point's going to be right there. Now remember, when we talked about a line that's tangent to a circle, I don't know why I'm drawing a line. But if you draw a circle, a line tangent to it is going to be a line that's going to intersect at exactly one point. So you can draw infinite many tangent points, so they're only going to intersect at exactly one point. So what they're saying is this circle is tangent to our x-axis. All right, So that means it's going to cross at exactly one point. So to draw a circle like this, roughly like that, and you could say, all right, well, to go from my x-axis to my center, I had to go a distance of 5. So we know that's going to be our radius. Since our r is our radius, r squared is going to be 25. So my final equation, which will be 25. OK, there you go. That's it for that one. So you could have done the x or